What's up, guys? I'm Trey Smith. And I'm Bailey Smith. And we are the owners of Recaptured Values. And, and you are watching, watching Teach It Tuesday. Tuesday. Hey, everybody. Happy Teach It Tuesday. Um, today, we're going to be going over the hibiscus pattern. This pattern is so much love like I just I love I love this pattern this pattern is amazing it's the cutest little off-the-shoulder pattern that you could do so much with um, and actually today we're gonna do a little extra with it um, we're gonna include our bell sleeve that recapture values is releasing as an add-on um, for this pattern um, pretty much it will work with hibiscus um, the sleeve dimensions it'll work with the hibiscus pattern and it will also work with the um, Juliet pattern from petite citrus so and it could work for multiple sleeve um, patterns those are the two that I know it will work with but you can pretty much take these and add them to any shirt as long as the um, arm opening is a fitted sleeve okay and it's a half sleeve you can add it to pretty much anything really though but we like to add this to a half sleeve all right so moving on to what we have done um, of course the pattern link will be linked down below in the description so make sure you pop that open a uh, little arrowhead on the right hand side pop it open the link to purchase this pattern and our add-on pattern there are two separate links because we don't we're not affiliated with petite, petite stitchery um, we just wanted to help um, offer the bell sleeve to anybody who didn't want to do math you can absolutely figure this out for yourself we just wanted to offer this for people who didn't want to do the math to figure it out so um, you're welcome. <laughs> All right, so here we go. What you're going to need, mine's going to look a little different because I didn't like how short the crop was. If you like the short crop, that's your thing, go ahead. Cut it at the crop line that they, um, they provide in the pattern. Um, but for me, I uh, like it a little bit longer. So what I like to do is I like to add two, in, two inches and three quarters. So two, 2.75 inches. <laughs> 2.75 inches you're going to add to this cut line here and then cut straight across there so you'll have a front and a back because the um arm size is a little different there and then you'll need your sleeve i like the half sleeve it's really cute with the bell sleeve you will need the neck band here and that's good that's all you need i've already got the cut pieces cut out and of course i've cut my bell sleeve it will be on the fold this pattern piece is a little different than what it's actually going to look like um, it looks exactly like this, let me say. Exactly like this, but it will say fold and fold because you do cut these on a double fold so that you don't have a seam. Um, it's just a full circle with a hole in the middle that you can attach to a sleeve. It's really cute. Okay, moving. All right, so like I said, you need a front, which I believe is actually higher than the back here. It's a front piece. Oop, can't see it front and the back which is lower boom and a neck piece just like this which has been cut on the fold and two sleeve pieces which have also been cut on the fold and then your two bell sleeves which have been cut on a double fold when you open them up it's a full sleeve here or a full bell all right so what i like to do here i do mine a little differently than the pattern calls for actually um so this is what i like to do um, take your sleeve here and you're going to match up your arm side there and then you're going to match up this one here just like this and you do it so that when you flip it over it's the bottom one here I'll show you all right so you're going to make sure that your sleeve when you add it is the bottom one here so like here's the other one you're going to put this one to here and you just match them up, match the curve up, and you're going to serge right there or zigzag stitch. I just use my serger. Um, and then you do the same thing on the other side, match up your curves, and you may have to stretch it a little bit to make it match. And then, so you're serge there, just in that tiny curve there. All right, so I have serged these little pieces here. So this is the sleeve. When you open it up, that's what it looks like. Um, but I like to do it like that. The pattern does call it a little bit differently. I feel like this fits just a little bit better in my opinion. Um, you can follow the instructions. They're great instructions if you want to do it that way. I just found this way to be a little bit more simpler. Um, and since we're not um, actually hemming, we don't have to hem the sleeves because we're adding the bell to the sleeve. So you don't have to worry about hemming them. But if you weren't adding the bell, you would just flip this up, hem it. I like to hem on the flat. It's a little bit simpler to, to hem in the circle. Um, if you have a cover stitch, of course, you might want to hem in the circle. But 
if you're just hemming with a sewing machine or a serger, that would be when you would hem now when it's flat. Okay, so let's grab the other piece here. This is the back piece. And so we're gonna lay this down, make sure that it's right side down. And then you're just gonna match up your sleeves here. So I'm holding a sleeve here and a sleeve here, and I'm just gonna match them up just like I did originally. You're just gonna have a lot of um, slack in the middle. And so I'm just matching up the other arm side on the sleeves to the arm side on the bodice. And then you're gonna serge here and serge here. All right, so then you are left with this you have to make sure that you're matching you're getting your sleeves and not the bodice here so then this is what it looks like um, when you're done and then of course you'll match up all your points here you match up your bottom points just like this and your sleeve points and then you'll just serge here and you'll serge here um, so I'm gonna take you guys with me to see this all right since this bottom is going to be left raw. I like this, it's a ribbed knit. I looked it up and the fabric company is named Millie May. So that's how you pronounce that. <laughs> Millie May has this really cute chibra fabric. It's rib knit, I love it. Um, and it doesn't fray, so I'm gonna leave this unhemmed. Um, it's just my preference, it doesn't fray that bad. I mean, it, it kind of pulls a little bit, but I mean, it's, it's not gonna matter too much. It doesn't fray like some fabrics do, so. All right, so here's the bottom here, and I'm gonna start right here. And what I'm gonna do is go just enough so that my needle goes into the fabric. And it's in the up position. I'm gonna pull my serger tail here, and then ever so gently pull it under here so that it finishes that seam there, so don't have to worry about that later. If you forget to do that, you can absolutely just tuck your tail with a, um, I have a knit picker that I like to use. This is what it is. I use this to tuck my tails. You can use in a large needle, um, whatever you want to do. All right, so then we just did the whole sleeve there. There's a sleeve here that I'm holding and there's the bottom piece here. And this is what it looks like when you um, secure that seam. I kind of flipped it up just a little too much there's an art to doing this where it doesn't um, fold. <laughs> You'll just have to find your groove. Um, all right, so do the same thing on the other side. Make sure your pieces on the bottom here are matching up. So just enough to where it's barely into the fabric. And then pull your strings tight like this. And then pull this under here like this. down make sure that your arm your shoulder seams are matching up here or your armpit seams I guess <laughs> all right and then you're left with your top like this and it's perfect and all you need to do is now quarter so you can add to your neckband but first you need to do him or do your neckband but I'm gonna go ahead and get these quartered so this was a point this is a point and then I'm gonna fold it together in half to get the middle front and back points All right, so I have my points, and as the pattern showed, the front is gonna be slightly raised than the back, so you need to make sure that you're paying attention to that. As you can see, this is my front, that, and what you're seeing is the back. Um, you'll need to pay attention to that when you're adding your neckband. So you're gonna grab your neckband over here and do it just like I do all my other neckbands. I like to do the hot hand method, so it's folded here. We folded it in half. Um, the pattern piece is actually cut on a fold, and I just haven't moved it. And then you fold it here, and then I'm going to put the folded edge underneath the knife here. All right, and then I'm just going to quarter up my neckband here, making two points there and there, flipping my neckband cuff out to where that it's right sides out. And I got my two pieces together. And then I'm going to match up the two points that I just made to the back seam here, just like this. And then I'm going to come over to the sides and find my 
equal side points. This all just helps me stretch this neck band um, equally so that there's no wrinkles in it and there's no um, waviness to it. So it's all stretched equally. Alright, so there's my neck band all ready to go to be added to this garment. Alright, so let me grab my four pins here. And I'm just going to mark my pieces up. So remember that the lower part here is the back. And I have noticed that um, on the, the the sizes that I've done, the um, girl sizes don't have a difference in the front and the back. Um, they're, I think they're same, the same front and back piece, I believe, is what it appears to be. At least the size 2T that I've done. That I've done. Um, but, alright, so I'm going to match up my back seam here. And I like, since I have to apply my tags to these, my garment is still inside out. And I like to attach my cuff to the inside here, inside of the neck. So I'm matching up my back seam here. You'll go all the way across to the shoulder to your next point here. Just make sure that all your raw edges are matching up. Because if you skip one of the edges underneath the serger, or even a zigzag, um, you'll be able to tell afterwards. So let's keep going around. All right. Point here, and I do like to start on the shoulder seam. Just because, so I'm going to start right here. I'm going to put this underneath my knife here, and I'm doing a quarter inch seam allowance. I haven't said that um, throughout the whole video, but the whole video is quarter inch seam allowance. That's just what I use. The pattern may actually call for something different. That's just what I found to be the best for me. So I'm just going to go ahead and make sure that the two raw edges from my band and the one raw edge from my neck uh, opening all are lined up. And then I'm just going to surge. Making sure I remove my pins as I go. And then this that was the front. Um, you need to pay attention because, if you, um, of course, you're compliant. If you're selling these or gifting these, you need to be compliant. So when I get to the back here, I'm going to add my tag in to the seam. I'm going to just serge it right in here. The easiest way that I've found to do it. So make sure you're removing your pins. We're almost to the back seam here. Alright, and the reason I know it's the back seam is because I added my neck band um, seam there. And so what I'm going to do is I got my tag here from Tagatopia on Etsy. I'm going to fold it together here. And I'm just going to sit it in here. I'm going to leave about a quarter of an inch above um, for the seam allowance so that I'm not cutting it all the way off my tag. I'm just going to sit here. So just to show you what I'm talking about, that's what it looks like. All right, and so I'm just going to surge, and I'm going to hold onto my tag. Make sure you don't stab your finger. I'm just holding onto your tag because it is the satin one, and it will shift. All right, the tag is now on. Once the tag's on, you can let go of it. <laughs> of course, I missed the seam. Mine shifted a little too much for me here, um, but here's how it would look. I'm going to go ahead and do it one more time through here. Ever so gently. I miss one side here. It shifted just enough. Very easy peasy. I just surged over it here. And I'm just going to tuck my um, tails here. Just as far as extra thread here. No one will ever know. But the tag was like that. So, tuck your tails on each side here. And then when you flip it up, like this, you tags in your seam there. And you can absolutely top stitch this down, which is what I typically do if you have a sewing machine. Um, I top stitch it down. 
It's really simple. So I'm going to flip this right side out now. And if you were not adding the bell sleeves, this is what it would look like. Just a crop top with a half sleeve. This is what it would look like if you were not adding the bell sleeve. This is just a crop top, a little extra length on it for my liking. Um, like I said, you can cut it at the crop. So that's where you would stop. Again, you can top stitch this um, neckband seam down if you wanted to, which is just a straight stitch. What I like to use um, a 3.5 width. That's what I would do. And it also, even if you just top stitch the um, tag down in the back, that's probably going to be best um, just to make sure that it doesn't keep flipping up. But that's that would be it. So we're going to add our bell sleeves. And all you really do is you'll mark your points, of course. Uh, you can do four or you can do um, two. I like to do two. Just two points, equal points. And then, of course, you're going to use your shoulder seam. Or your, um, sorry arm seam and make a point here. I'm gonna go ahead and get the other one prepared too. The other sleeve. Like that. And then you're literally going to put this onto your sleeve. So my, my garment is right side out and I'm gonna put my sleeve just onto this, my, my bell right onto my sleeve just like this so then my sleeve is right here and this is the edges of the circle of my sleeve and i'm just going to match up my points here all right so just like that it will require a little bit of stretching to make this match up so if you want to do four points you can i'm just going to do two um so flip you back around here so what you're going to do is make sure your raw edges are matching up and then just sew around in the circle sleeve and there she blows <laughs> if you can see here so that is one of the bell sleeves on there and then it's a super cute flowy bell sleeve on the end of your garment now and this works with a half sleeve um, and then you just add the other one just like that so we're gonna do that really quick two pins Got my sleeve here, right side out. And I'm gonna just flip my bell sleeve over it, right side together. So then you're gonna see the wrong side here as I'm applying it, because this is the cuff, or this is the arm, arm, no, what's that called? <laughs> it's called a sleeve, Bailey, come on now. Match up my points here. And this, the bell is going to be a little bit larger than the um, opening, so you will have to stretch just a smidge to get it to work. But it, once it's on there, it's not super wavy. Um, so you just make sure all your edges are lined up. <laughs> you guys need to see this. <laughs> I'm going to roll. Sorry. Okay. tuck this tail and this shirt is done other than adding my batch number and size to the tag um, for compliance purposes if you want to learn more about that we will link a group down below to learn more about compliance all right so then let's see this adorable bell sleeve top now flip it out okay and then that's what you're left with very adorable bell sleeve top there and like i said these sleeves will work on the hibiscus and the juliet from petite stitchery um, so you can add bells to your leotards you can add bells to your hibiscus leotards to your hibiscus crop tops to your hibiscus dresses um yep yeah, that's pretty much it and like i said this, these may work for more patterns um it just really depends on if the sleeve um, circumference is the same so you can absolutely play around with these um, on multiple patterns 
and add bell sleeves to everything. So hope you guys enjoyed this pattern. Make sure you subscribe and like this video if it helped you out and leave a comment if you have any questions and we'll see you again next Tuesday. Don't forget to purchase this pattern in the links below, um, the actual pattern from Petite Stitchery and the bell sleeve from Recapture Values. So we'll see you guys next Tuesday. Bye.